Boring week. I was searching for the next wow here, but until Saturday I didn't feel the love for a certain piece. Social media right now is flooded with sponsored content by a handful of brands and then I thought, have I lost myself in a bloody trade show or what? No, no, no. Let's do something different. Look at that. For this week it's clock of the week and now I'm going to show you something extraordinary that you've probably never seen before in your life. We are leaving the trade show and we are entering the ocean. Vampe has added the Marine Chronometer Cube and Coco de Mer to their lineup and you may ask now, what? They still produce chronometers for naval duty? Answer is yes. And their latest pieces are impressive constructions that were designed by Tim Haywood, a yacht designer and one of the gentlemen who can sport a moustache. Let's begin with the cube. The clock itself is made of brass gold plated and protected by a wooden cabin. It is roughly 25 centimeters high and wide, so 10 by 10 inches. You see their dome made of extremely robust borosilicate glass and decorated with 12 meridians. Tim Haywood now created this cube model and another piece they call the coco de mer, so a coconut, although the longer I look at that, Anyway, at 4 and 8 o'clock you can see inside the movement that has a tolerance of 0.3 seconds, not 3, 0.3 seconds. It works mechanically and has a power reserve of 56 hours. Winding is fun because you have to turn the clock upside down and there you see the movement type 07 in its full glory. And when you feel sad now because you imagine the price tag, just wait 2 minutes longer. First let's ask why this precision? Well, unfortunately it is impossible to explain the exact use of a chronometer for navigation in under 4 minutes. But I produced a longer video about that, link in the upper right corner. In short only this, with the exact time a navigator can determine the longitude and that's not a luxury. Every second stands for a distance and that means a few seconds could make the difference between the gentle entrance into a harbor and an ugly death between storm blown cliffs. On position 3 now you see the writing Chronometer Werke gegründet 1905 in Hamburg, so Chronometer Factory founded 1905 in Hamburg, Germany, where I am located too. Here you find many brands with roots in the shipping industry that have survived in the luxury sector like Wempe. But now some more numbers. The price for the cube is roughly 50,000 euros including VAT or 57,000 US dollars. For the Coco it's 80,000 euros and 91,000 dollars, limited to 50 pieces. By the way I find it very funny that you can hide the price on their website. Go away ghastly price, go away. <laughs> Much better. Ok, as mentioned, don't be sad about these prices. Cube and Coco are the showroom Ferraris. If you like to purchase a Vampa naval instrument, you can easily do that, because their off-the-shelf models are also real beauties and they start in the lower three-digit price region. Alright, I leave it there. I hope you found our little journey pleasant and refreshing. Let me thank you now very much for your attention and then next Monday it's again Watch of the Week. 